Donald Trump threatens the existence of human life, of all life on this planet. The problem's even worse than we thought. We have even less time than we thought. We are reaching a moment on our planet in which the crisis that is upon us may no longer be one that we will be able to successfully fight back against. Mother Earth is angry. She's telling us, whether she's telling us with hurricanes on the Gulf Coast, fires in the West, whatever it is, that the climate crisis is real and has an impact. There is something so fundamental that also cannot be denied, and that is climate change. Climate change. And uh, those who do not believe it do so at their own peril. It's an ominous warning. Uh, that we have to act on climate. Scientists have been warning for years that climate change could create extreme fire conditions such as this in California alone. This past August was the warmest ever. I worry that people are not fully understanding the connection between the changing climate, climate change, human contribution to it, and what we're seeing happen in California. The debate is over around climate change. Just come to the state of California. Observe it with your own eyes. It's not an intellectual debate. It's not even debatable. Coronavirus may be America the world's great wake-up call with respect to the challenge of climate. Because this is coming at us. If you think pandemics are bad today, wait till you have the warming at a greater level than it is now. And we're headed there. So that's, that's the meaning of the deaths thus far. The bottom line is this. American citizens are already dying of both. They're already dying of effects of what's happening with the climate crisis from mudslides and floods. If we think this pandemic uh, is disturbing for what it's done to our economy, wait and see what happens if we allow the world to progress and rebuild economies in the aftermath of coronavirus without taking into account uh, the need to deal with climate change. You better listen to the experts. You better believe in science. You need to listen to science. We can't continue to ignore the threats around climate change, that the scientific evidence around climate change in terms of its ultimate destruction is as great, if not greater, than around pandemics. And maybe we take this a moment of enormous disruption and make the kind of commitment towards a clean energy future that I think is long overdue. From the beginning of this coronavirus crisis, the obvious parallels to the climate crisis have just been impossible to ignore. I keep thinking about them, particularly as the pandemic plays out like an intensely sped up acute version of the climate crisis. The same warnings, the same disinformation and know nothing is the, the same tragic consequences, the same failure to act. We can't see the coronavirus like we can't see the carbon in the air. And it's hard to mobilize people around things you can't see.